Hey everyone, this is Chelsea from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm here today with composer Daniel Jameson. In addition to leading his own critically acclaimed big band, the Dan Jam Orchestra, Dan has written for the World Class Metropole Orchestra and the WDR Big Band. Dan is here to show us how to create unique solo sections. Thanks, Chelsea. Today we're going to take a look at the title track for my big band album, Sudden Appearance, which features three different soloists. I'm going to demonstrate how I set up different moods for each solo section. So let's take a listen to the presentation of the melody to get a feel for the tune. So the first soloist up is saxophonist Andrew Gould. He solos right after the head in. Um, there is a big gesture from the band which launches right into a hard swinging solo. If you remember back to the presentation of the melody, there is an interlude based off of half steps about nine measures in. For the second solo, I use this interlude as source material and expand it on it. This features Eric Miller on the trombone. I wanted to create a contrast for the final solo. The chord changes have been moving by pretty quickly, changing every two beats. So for this solo, I smoothed them out. I selected the chords that I felt were the most important to the harmonic motion, and I removed the passing chords. I also decreased the rhythmic motion, allowing each chord to breathe. Finally, I changed the style of voicings and used clusters with mutes and sweeping dynamics. This features Matt Holman on the flugelhorn. Those were the ways I developed ideas for my composition and used it as source material to create unique solo sections to inspire my soloists. This concept can be applied to composing for both large and small ensembles. I would encourage you to experiment with different ways to develop creative solo sections, thereby inspiring your soloists and advancing the story of the composition. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comment box down below. To watch our full-length events and join in live Q&As with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.